السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله الأكرم الذي خلق الإنسان وكرم وعلمه من البيان ما لم يعلم فسبحان الذي لا يحصى امتنانه باللسان ولا بالقلم ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله الذي أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا وقمرا منيرا فقد قال الله تعالى في كلامه المجيد وفرقانه الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد الحمد لله All thanks and praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has enabled us to be here to perform Salatul Jum'ah so we say Alhamdulillahi hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fee My respected Musallin today's khutbah Today's topic is very important for us, which is ideal Muslim family. We <coughs> have family, we living in this country. There are lots of people from different languages, different religion, different cultures different colors but for Muslim there is a quite challenge to survive with our identity especially our children <clears throat> how we can establish a ideal Muslim family there are some characteristics, qualities of a Muslim family. If we follow these qualities, characteristics, then our Muslim family will be our Muslim family will be an ideal Muslim family. <coughs> Generally the family consists of two people living together in peace, harmony, forgiveness, love, comfort, happiness, 
all the aspect of the life but we add the word islamic coming allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the quran surah furqan verse number 54 a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa huwa alladhi khalaqa minal ma'i basharan faj'ala nasaban wa sihra wa kana rabbuka qadira Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it is he who has made men from waters and he has set up relationship of marriage family and marriage Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has powers over everything Islamic family living with one purpose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran very well known us we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal insa illa li'abudun i have not created jinn and insan except my worship and ours everything will be only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only for the worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in another verse inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin la sharika laku wa bidhalika umiltu wa ana awadul muslimin inna salati my prayers wa nusuki my ibadah my worship wa mahyaya my life wa mamati my death lillahi rabbil alamin only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the muslim family made the commitment to attain pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a family my father and mother my sisters and brothers my daughter and son they are most important part of the family if they understand that we have been created for worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to follow if we follow them all the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam within our family then our family will be a ideal muslim family in a house where there is no worship where there is no worship no following commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no following sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then it's called jannah family when we established all the commandment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructions of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then our family will be um, a ideal muslim family This is very important for a ideal Muslim family. First of all, selection of a ideal wife, and to choose to choose the right person upon marriage, which Quran and Hadith instructed us. Is the person is right person, God-fearing person, then this quality. 
will be attaining peace in our family. So, before getting married, what are the instructions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us? We should think about it. If he or she does not have committed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what are the guarantee there he or she will be committed to you? Before marriage of your sisters, brothers, girls, son and daughters, we should think about that is the person the right person who has knowledge of rights of uh, each other's rights. If you follow these conditions, then our family will be an ideal Muslim family peaceful family, comfortable family, happy family. Otherwise, can be opposite. If we compare between general family and Islamic family, Muslim, ideal Muslim family, how is going their family life? Brothers and sisters, there are some parents, those who have less concern about their children's prayers, be practicing Muslim. Are they praying or not? What are they doing? What's their religious commitment? What's their religious condition? What is their movement? when, where are they going, and with whom they are spending their time, who is his or her friend. Are they following Islamic dress code or other subcultures, short dress, especially for women? Unfortunately, it is true but sad, this is totally haram. This is our responsibility, my dear brothers and sisters. Otherwise, on the day of judgment, our children will make complaint against us. The Quran says. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the hadith, says in the bars, anfusakum wa nara. First, Save yourself from Jahannam and your family relatives as well. So, first we have to pray regularly. We should not miss our salam. Then, make them church, our wives, our children, our family members. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran, وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ Enjoy in prayer upon your family and be steadfast in it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in another verse, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُ الزَّكَاةَ وَرْتَعُوا مَعَ الرَّافِعِينَ وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ Establish prayers وَآتُ الزَّكَاةَ Give zakam وَرْتَعُوا مَعَ الرَّافِعِينَ and Bow with those who bow. Do ruku with those who are um, bowing down. Ruku karire shadi tumra ruku koro. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, in a hadith, and Jabir and radiallahu ta'ala ankun, Baydan al abde baydan al kufra tarku salam. Living salah is a differentiate, is differentiates between Imam and Kufur. In another hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Man taraka salatan muta'ammidan faqad kafara. Whoever living salah willingly, then he did kufri. My brothers and elders, remember, we know because of doing 
not doing one system. Shaitan has been eternally Jahannami. Think about ourselves, how many things that we're missing every day. Ensuring religious education is a most important part of an ideal Muslim family. One of the profound statements most of us, all of us, we know, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Talabul ilmu faridatun ala kulli muslimin wa muslima. Acquiring knowledge is found upon each and every single Muslim and Muslima. So this is very important for us to acquire knowledge. Teach your children Quran, then Quran will teach them everything. So proper learning of the Quran and practicing on practicing message on the Quran is so important for us for a ideal Muslim family. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, do not die except be Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu allaha, O you have lived, attaqu allaha, fear Allah, as he should be feared. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes to be feared him. And do not die except Muslim. We can say already we are Muslim. We are born by Muslim. It is easy to born as a Muslim, but it is difficult to die as a Muslim. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding us in this verse. So we should be we have to be a full-time Muslim, not a part-time Muslim. <clears throat> and another quality is in our family should be avoiding song, music, films, and other subcultures which can divert our children to the wrong direction. Another quality is um, ideal Muslim family helping each other and mutual help, mutual accountability. So if we follow the Quran and Sunnah properly in our family life, then our family will be an ideal Muslim family, happy family, comfortable, comfortable family, peaceful family. In conclusion, just I repeating again the characteristics of a ideal Muslim family. First one, selection of ideal wife, practicing deen. Number three, ensuring religious education, mutual help, being free from sin and privacy protection and veil and modesty and earning ours earning should be halal this is the most important qualities characteristics of a ideal muslim family may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to be proper muslim may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to make our um, family a ideal muslim family آمين يا رب العالمين أقول قول هذا استغفر الله لي ولكم ورسائل المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه فاغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته